Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to IMTC. I did this today. It was the only thing that I did today, and it actually had a second move down and just had an absolutely perfect entry on this today. And if I had actually been trading alone today, which I which I don't anymore because I run the live room, I would have been more aggressive on this than I was. Uh, just more and more and more. Uh, I really uh, have so much conviction in my own ability to be able to read numbers to take a trade. It's it's as if the number itself is the trigger for me, and I'm seeing it, and I'm seeing it so intricately, so detailed, uh, so specifically that I've just never had more conviction in my trading than I have even in the last two months, I'd say, uh, the way I'm seeing these entries and the numbers and the follow through. So INTC here, I knew this morning would work as long as it held 24.05. And that's exactly what it did. And on top of that, it followed through nicely. Now, this closed bearishly, but did not continue breaking on down today. Part of it was the market, which was strong in the afternoon. And part of it was the fact the stock is exhausted now from the move that it made. I mean, absolutely exhausted. One thing that I want to point out here is that, uh, and I was analyzing this today when I went back and looked over my trades, uh, when this gapped back here, this was back in June, June of this year, had this gap, fell on through, had a nice move down, actually is far into itself down here, it broke 22, which it hasn't done again yet. However, it rallied, appeared to recover or like it was going to fix itself. This was the, this was the 21st, this was just uh, last week. Do you see here? Do you see this? All right, pretend this didn't happen. So this gap here was nice. Held, held. Rally back up, retested, held. Rally back up, retested, held. Look at how this held. This is just really, really good. Gapped again here, fell on through, went to the dream target, hit on to the 200, rallied, rallied and rallied and rallied. Here this broke over the gap. This was the last week on the 21st. And I don't want to remember what the market was doing that day, and it doesn't matter. But anyways, this did this then. And then the next day, and that's what made that gap actually work on Friday and follow through today. So, you know, it's just one of these things where this had this one last chance here. It was on the 21st. It should have continued and could have continued and would have made it over the high or made it over the air. It didn't do it. It did break the high of that gap, but it didn't go anywhere, not anywhere at all. And then this happened here and this was the play on Friday. And then this was the play today. So. It's really something looking at these numbers. I even thought this was going to fall through in the afternoon, possibly. But it, it was really holding this number here at 64 so beautifully, but then it blew on through. And I just don't like to trade the afternoon anyways, but you could have watched it in the afternoon for something. So here was the call I made this morning. It was really good. And I said this morning, actually, that the market was bullish, but it was in a tough area. And I said, I'm not doing anything today unless it's absolutely perfect. No excuses, no nothing. I said, if I take a trade today, it's going to be a thing of beauty. And that's exactly what I did. I took it right in here. 23.95, stop was 24.07, ran on down, ran on down, hit on through the first number here, which was 60, and the second one was 50. And that was it. That was the trade. So went to the first target, even went to the second target, and done. Uh, dream target today was 23. I thought that was low odds it would get there. This performed very well today and was an excellent trade. I mean, just a beautiful trade with a very nice move and a solid 3 hour trade on a Monday morning where there's absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, of any quality to watch or do. So the great thing about continuation gaps is that you can watch them for follow through and have as much conviction as you did the day of the gap. Why? Because the gap has done its thing and so you know that the chart is broken here. And then you watch it. Now, there was no guarantee this was going to hold the numbers today. But when it did, I took the trade. And it was aggressive, and it held up, and it did everything it was supposed to do right in the first five minutes of the day. And the funny thing was, I almost I almost just called this right at $23.99. I mean, I almost shorted this at the break of 24 with the stop over 07, which would have been $0.07 cent stop. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I, if I go back to trading by myself, I, I'd probably do all kinds of stuff that I don't do in the room now. Uh, because the last time I traded alone was uh, before I had the room. And my trading in the last year has just taken on a new level. So I, I don't know the things I would do alone <laughs> anymore. But I mean, honestly, I waited for the trigger, called a great trade, and ran on down and was three hours here. 
for the room. So really nice, really nice and a lot of volume in this today. And I think that this just has to be laid off here for now. Uh, this is a nice swing trade here down to 23 if it wants to do it. But this is really got to be tired now the last two days of trading and the market is bullish as we saw today. So anything can happen with this now for tomorrow, but holiday week, low volume in the market. This is just a better swing trade and really could have held this from Friday into the swing and taken some out today. And it was a nice day trade today, a nice trade trade on Friday. I'll leave this be here now for day trading for tomorrow. But it really shows and proves to you the nice follow through that gaps can have and just the reason I love doing gaps. I love doing gaps for the conviction that I have when I read the numbers. So many times you could look at a chart and you could see a thousand different numbers on it, but how do you know they're gonna hold? I know things are gonna work when I know the gap is there. That just tells me what I need to know. And I can see it in the continuation gap too. Why? Because I'm reading the original gap in the first place. And like I pointed out back here, and what made this work so, so powerfully was that for all intents and purposes, okay, this was the be all end all for this thing back here. And so that's why this really is lower. So, I mean, this is a realistic target for the end of the year. Where it goes after that, we'll have to see because, I mean, there's only one more low month left in the year. This is a really nice chart here now, though. Absolutely really good short, this INTC. And it has a lot more room to go. And it's one of these stocks you can trade and it always has volume. You always get filled. I mean, you know, it's easy to see the numbers. Always has good entries. Always a nice, easy stops. Uh, one penny spread. You know, it's a nice stock to trade. So this is INTC Intel Corporation. Stocks will show live play of the day today on a Monday. Nice three-hour trade on a day where there was nothing to do. Uh, and it was a really solid trade on Friday as well. So I would watch this for follow-through down to 23, but not necessarily tomorrow. And think, uh, In fact, I think it doesn't do it tomorrow. But, you know, it could. Anything's possible because the chart is definitely broken. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like more information on the upcoming Golden Gap course in December, it's the last one of this year. It's December 14th and 15th. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a great evening.